Hi, my name is Cy Porter and this tutorial is about storyboarding. So as you can see here, I have um, <clears throat> it looks like I've erased the face of this character. What happened is um, I was having characters in th this part of the story wearing bandanas around their face and I wanted to remove that and so I just went in really quickly and erased that in each scene and the thing about storyboards is you you want to be able to go in and change them and storyboarding it's very important that you want to draw poorly that is you want your storyboards to be images that you don't get attached to. You want to be able to have no regrets about removing storyboards because when you're storyboarding, <clears throat> especially in the first couple of drafts, what you're doing, you're still working on a story. And the only way to improve the story is to change it. And the way to do that is to be able to remove storyboards and add new ones and to go in quickly and make changes that could, you know, if if you are just drawing pictures, it could mess up the picture, but that isn't the point. A storyboard is like taking notes with images. When you're storyboarding, you're illustrating. That is, you're using images to illustrate ideas. You're thinking visually and taking visual notes. So it isn't about detail. And as an example, you can see each of the characters, each of the main characters that I have, each of them have like one very significant visual cue that lets me know exactly who it is I'm, I'm drawing. With her, it's the flowers in her hair. With her, it's this kind of, uh, you know, these, they look like petals, you know. Um, still the petals but just kind of a different shape because I'm drawing quickly with this uh, one here it's more like the this kind of swirl and so for each main character I mean it could be anything you could draw a big star on on the head of one of them as long as you're able to look at each storyboard and know exactly where each main character is at quickly and draw it quickly and um, really just try to think about what is the necessary information in each storyboard. You know, if you were to look at this image, just think about how much is missing. Where are the trees? Where are the cars? Where are the pe other people? You know, but here, these are quick notations, so I know this is kind of an urban setting. I know that they've gone from an abandoned field into the city because these are quick notes for for city buildings. And in the final drawing, there may not be skyscrapers, but but the fact that I didn't draw, if I drew houses, that would tell me that they're in a residential area. If I were to draw you know trees they could be in a park or or in the forest but with these i'm just i'm just saying that they're in the city and it isn't i'm not really drawing what the scene will look like i'm visually depicting what what kind, what the scene is about and and what is happening and also with storyboards even though it's important to kind of run through them quickly and and kind of do you know it's you you have to do a careless job it works better to do a careless job with storyboards because you want to be impartial about them you want to be able to throw them out if you don't need them the important thing is to be able to change the story and to be able to use storyboards to know exactly what's happening and and uh, all the important it, the important information about that story. <clears throat> Storyboard, it's very much like writing. It's a form of storytelling. 
and it is definitely not about the finished product you know this is not work to show to other people this is I'm not saying don't show it to other people I'm just saying this is about you being able to go back and know what what the story is about so you can build on it and change it and, and improve it and the more that you can help yourself to improve the story the more you're giving the story a chance to be a good story so storyboards can work with basic scene composition what is in the foreground what is in the background what is the center of interest what is uh what is like um <clears throat> what's a good example see here in the foreground she's the center of interest and and this is kind of the secondary um area of interest and I put her in the foreground because I, I want the audience, you know, think about how to set up the scene to make the audience pay attention to the most important part of that scene. I put this character in the foreground because I want her to be the most important part of the scene. And also she's the central character and uh, I want the audience to be relating to her the most. And uh, as you can see, it's, I, I really, I have such a fun time writing stories this way. It, I, I, it, it's just a very enjoyable way. And it's a good way to practice drawing too. So I think that's about it. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, I make these tutorials to get the word out about my illustrated film at solomation.com. If you have a couple of minutes, please uh, go check it out. Um, also, I do um, comedy animated shorts at fiddlerfred.com. And uh, I hope your storyboarding goes well. Again, it's it can be just a really... Uh, wonderful way to tell stories and and to build stories and i hope you have a good day